Hey there everyone, welcome back to Engineering in Pritam. In this video, we will talk about helical sweep inside PTC Creo Parametric. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we can see we are already in PTC Creo Parametric part modeling environment. And in order to show helical sweep, the best way would be showing the cap thread or maybe nut and bolt. So let's try to make a bolt here. Okay, so let me actually go to extrude and then let's try to make an Allen bolt. Um, let's say having a metric thread of size 8. So generally they have got 13 mm dia. And then let's make this head size as 8. And let's make it symmetric. Now here, let me add the length and let's make it 8. Now let's make this distance as 25 and actually I can also add uh, extrude here. Let's add palette and let's choose hexagon. So now let me actually define the size here and let's click OK and now I can actually change this value at flat and I can actually delete this one 1.6. Okay so let's make it 3 and then let's hit OK and let's define the depth as 5. And now here I'm actually not going to make it uh, to the spec. I'm just making such that it look decent. So let's add chamfer here as well. Okay, so now let's see how we can perform a helical sweep in this case. Let's click here on this down arrow in sweep and here you will find helical sweep. Let's click on it. And now it is asking us to define helical profile. Let's click here on define. Now let's click the plane. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to define the path so let's click here on line and then i'm gonna choose this surface and let's make it a little bit out and let's also define the start point so again i'm gonna click on reference let's make it three and now uh, let's click ok and actually let's click on flip arrow so that we start from this point. Now I also need to define helical axis. For that let's again click on edit and let me actually add helical axis here. And let's click OK. Now here let's click on sketch to define section. Just like the way we did in sweep here also we need to define our helical axis. And let's make this kind of profile um, having metric thread. We generally have 60 degree as internal angle and this one also adds 60 degree. And let's define this value as 1.25. Let's make it um, you know slightly smaller 1.249 and now let's hit OK. Now here we need to define the pitch value. So pitch here will be 1.25. And now instead of adding material, I'm gonna click on remove material. And there we go guys. In this way we can utilize helical sweep inside PTC Creo Parametric. And actually if I click on edit definition, here we have got various options available. And one option that is worth noting is defining variable pitch for helical sweep. So there could be the case, you know, when we want higher pitch at certain location and lower pitch at certain location. So here we can see we have defined 1.25 at start point, which is this one and 2.5 at end point. We can make it five and we can see now how the value of pitch is varying across this whole trajectory. Now let me click on add pitch and now here I can define what kind of pitch I need at particular distance. For example, let me make this distance as 10 and here at 10 mm, 
I'm gonna make this pitch as 1.25 again. Now here we have got three different pitches across this profile. So in this way guys, we can also apply a variable pitch across this helical sweep. And not only we can perform cut operation, but also we can add material as well. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Engineering Pritham to follow more such tutorial. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.